Local farmer Josh Campbell invited Dwayne Braun, general manager at ICM Biofuels, to his farm. The corn grown there is used in the E30 gas produced at ICM Biofuels, and he wanted to learn more. The two took a drive around his 600 acres south of St. Joseph. How does ethanol change the performance of gasoline in a vehicle? Well, you know, ethanol is, is almost a perfect fuel. It's actually better than gasoline, at least in my opinion. Uh, ethanol burns a little cooler and gives a little bit more horsepower. Uh, for example, uh, there's going to be a little bit more octane in the uh, ethanol blended fuels. It makes the engine burn a little cleaner. Uh, ethanol is actually a very good solvent and that solvent uh, will keep the engine very clean. You know, if you're a NASCAR watcher, you see that uh, NASCAR has used E15 in all the race cars for a number of years now. They've, uh, they love it. They've had very few issues and uh, works extremely well. It's a good clean fuel. What kind of uh, octane rating is E30? Um, E30 actually, there's a, there's a lot of ethanol blends. You can get E10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, blender pumps can uh, almost blend about anything, but E30 actually, uh, and we do have a pump right here in St. Joseph uh, that we're marketing E30 now. The uh, E30 has 94.4 octane rating at that 94. pump. Wow. 94.4. And uh, it's actually being sold 15 cents a gallon cheaper than the E10, which is an 87 octane rated fuel. So, I mean, the really the benefits there are we're getting all that, all that horsepower, all that power out of something that we're getting a better bargain for. And if you let me jump into it, I'll just tell you that the health benefits also, that, uh, that ethanol does not have any benzene, toluene, xylene in it. Uh, those are all things cancer-causing agents that come with the uh, gasoline that comes from the refiners. And uh, the aromatics, those are the aromatics to get the oxygen content into the fuel. Ethanol is a simple way to replace that and it has no carcinogens in it. So it's a healthier, the exhaust coming out of the tailpipe are much more beneficial to the environment. And uh, you know, that's another win for society. Tell me, Dwayne, how do they make ethanol? Well, you know, it's a pretty simple process. It really is just a fermentation process, taking, mashing up the corn and, and uh, getting the starch out of it to convert to the simple sugars and uh, through the fermentation process, uh, it just converts to alcohol and, and uh, then it's a simple distillation process to, to get it extracted from all the mash and so forth. Uh, the leftover mash and everything, it makes great cattle livestock feed and, and uh, the ethanol is just distilled up to make it a little bit more pure product. It's uh, really very natural and very simple. So I deliver corn to Lifeline Foods. Is that where all of your corn comes from? Absolutely, we've got a neat uh, arrangement at Lifeline Foods there. There's three entities that are actually operating there. Lifeline Foods buys all the corn and they have some very high specifications as they're milling and uh, producing food grade products. The uh, hominy, the leftover parts of the corn kernel they don't use, we use in the ethanol plant as well as some uh, additional corn that we grind for the milling process. Uh, that is all corn that's grown locally in the probably a 50 mile radius of St. Joseph here. And so it's the local farmers that uh, are, are actually, it's their corn that's being made into the ethanol and the food products that get distributed throughout the Midwest. So my corn that I would take to Lifeline could end up, a product of that end up in my tank that I've purchased locally and grown locally. Absolutely. That's neat. So you said that there's a blender pump in St. Joe. Um, where is it? Where's it located? Where can I get some of this? Well, I tell you, the uh, fast gas station at I-29 and Frederick Avenue uh, put in an E30 pump uh, a few months ago. Sales are increasing. Uh, we've done some promotions, and I think from the feedback that we're hearing, everybody that's using E30 is really liking it. They're getting the benefit of 15 cents a gallon less uh, discount, and they're getting that 94 octane fuel. It seems like ethanol makes a make just a lot of sense for buying local and buying local products. Well, by gosh, Josh, ethanol kicks gas. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one.